welcome guys to this another math video in today's video guys we want to look at what is a fraction as well as the three major types of fractions which includes proper fractions improper fractions and mixed fractions all right but before we get into the video guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up as these are all free ways to support the chris Matz academy now let's get right into it now guys we're going to start off with what is a fraction but before we get into the definition guys let us look at this fraction right here which is one seventh now this is an example of a fraction guys which reads as one seventh all right now the one right there guys that is color coded with blue we refer to that as our numerator all right and the numerator is the number that is at the top of the fraction now that seven right there that is color coded with orange guys that represents our denominator all right so our denominator is the number that's at the bottom of the fraction and finally but not least guys we have our fraction bar which is that horizontal line segment that separates the numerator from the denominator all right so a fraction consists of a numerator a fraction bar and a denominator all right so those are all parts of a fraction now let's look at the definition of a fraction a fraction refers to equal parts of a whole all right and what does all of that means let's look at a pizza so this right here represents a whole pizza but let's look carefully guys this whole pizza is made up of one two three four five six seven slices all right so we have seven slices that makes up this whole pizza now recall guys that a fraction refers to equal parts of a whole all right which simply means if we should take out a part of this whole pizza we could actually represent this part as a fraction all right now let us take out this one slice right here there we go now what we're going to do is place our equal sign right there there we go then we're going to place our fraction bar right here all right now what we want to do now guys is to count up how many slices of pizza makes up the whole pizza all right remember guys that we had one two three four five six and the slice that we took out makes seven slices all right so we have seven slices that makes up the whole pizza all right now that seven right there represents our denominator all right so our denominator represents the seven equal parts which are the seven equal slices that makes up the whole pizza all right and our numerator represents the number of equal parts that we took from the whole pizza all right and remember guys we just took one equal part which is the one slice so we can represent that one slice as a fraction as one seventh all right which is the same thing as one out of seven so notice we took one out of a possible seven slices all right so we can represent the one slice that we took from the whole pizza as one out of seven all right so that's what we mean guys when we say a fraction refers to equal parts of a whole all right so i hope you guys now understand what a fraction is all about now we want to look at the three major types of fraction guys which includes proper fractions improper fractions and mixed fractions all right now let us start off with the proper fractions now a fraction is proper when the numerator is smaller than the denominator all right now let us look at some examples guys so our first example here is a half written in the form of one divided by two and notice guys the numerator is smaller than the denominator all right we just labeled the fractions remember our numerator is the number at the top of the fraction and our denominator is the number that's at the bottom of the fraction all right so our numerator here would have been one and our denominator would have been two all right and of course one is smaller than two so therefore our numerator is smaller than our denominator which means we have a proper fraction right here now let us look at another example now here we have two fifth we can also read this as two divided by five written in the form of a fraction as well as two out of five all right and notice again guys the numerator here which is two is smaller than our denominator which is five 
and it doesn't matter how large the numbers are guys so let us look at another example all right now here we have 17 out of 20 all right which we can also read as 17 divided by 20 written in the form of a fraction all right now notice the 17 which is our numerator is smaller than the 20 which is our denominator which means this fraction also meets the criteria of being a proper fraction all right now let us look at another example now here we have 37 out of 52 or we can also read this fraction as 37 divided by 52 written in the form of a fraction and notice again guys the numerator is smaller than the denominator and now let us look at our final example as i said before doesn't really matter how large the fractions are so here we have 112 out of 117 which also meets the criteria of being a proper fraction all right because the numerator is smaller than the denominator all right now guys let us get into our improper fractions now a fraction is improper when the numerator is greater than the denominator all right and as the prefix im suggests guys in front of the word proper this is directly opposite to our proper fraction all right now let us look at some examples now here we have our first example which is three halves or three divided by two written in the form of a fraction all right now notice here guys our numerator which is the number at the top of the fraction is larger than the denominator which is the number that is at the bottom of the fraction all right which means this meets the criteria of being a improper fraction all right now let us look at another example now here we have seven quarters which we can also read as seven divided by four written in the form of a fraction and notice again guys our numerator which is seven is larger than our denominator which is four which means this fraction also meets the criteria of being a improper fraction all right and just like the proper fraction guys it doesn't really matter how large the numbers get as you'll see in our next example right here all right so now we have 37 divided by 23 written in the form of a fraction all right and this also guys meets the criteria of being a improper fraction as we said before a fraction is improper once the numerator is greater than the denominator all right now let us look at another example all right so here we have 75 divided by 52 written in the form of a fraction all right and this also guys meets the criteria of being a improper fraction all right as mentioned before once the numerator is greater than the denominator then that meets the criteria of being a improper fraction all right now guys we want to look at our mixed fractions all right which is a final type of fraction that we'll be looking at in this video now a mixed fraction consists of a whole number and a proper fraction all right and we also want to look at some examples of these to give you guys a better understanding of what we are talking about now here we have three and a half all right and notice guys remember a mixed fraction consists of a whole number and a proper fraction all right and here again guys as we can see here we have the whole number which is three and the proper fraction which is a half written in the form of one divided by two all right and remember guys a fraction is proper once the numerator is smaller than the denominator all right now let us look at another example now here we have 21 and 2 fifth all right so the 21 right here represents our whole number and the 2 fifth represents the proper fraction and as we mentioned before guys a mixed fraction consists of a whole number and a proper fraction all right now let us look at our final example of a mixed fraction all right now here we have 105 and 3 quarter all right and again we have a whole number and a proper fraction all right so the 105 right there are 105 represents our whole number and the 3 quarter represents our proper fraction all right so that's it for today's video guys in our next video we'll be looking at equivalent fractions all right thanks for watching this one to the end if you haven't yet done it guys please smash that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up as these are all helpful ways to support the christmas academy all right i'm looking forward to see you guys in our next video until then blessings and peace